Thank you, Calista. Time for Blair's Social Second. Do you ever think back to your glory days and all the partying late nights? Well, the young folks today are trading those late night partying nights for early bedtime routines. And experts say they're more aware now of the link between sleep and health. Now, this is from a Wall Street Journal report. It found people 18 to 35 are getting 8% more sleep than in 2010. A study of sleep number smart bed customers, they saw a gradual shift toward earlier bedtimes. So businesses and even party venue type places, they're noticing this and adjusting by offering daytime events. Yelp seeing an uptick in early dinner reservations. Even in the city that never sleeps, New York City, bars are experimenting with early dance parties for people who prefer to hit the dance floor during the day. So in Blair's Social Second, I'm asking when did you start prioritizing sleep over nightlife? Head to our Facebook page to leave a comment. We'll share some of the responses coming up in our next half hour. I mean, you might still be living at nightlife. I don't know. If so just say never. I'm still partying. We got to go to sleep <laughs> early. Yeah. I consider myself a sleepless elite over here. You don't? Oh, yeah. you, still, you still party at night? I think, weirdly enough, sometimes I operate better when I get less sleep. I don't know what kind of twisted logic that is, but... Mm -mm. I think well, it is a theory. We, we all learn to operate on less sleep than we should be. Right. Getting, it's when you get proper sleep, that's when you mess up. <laughs> yeah, you're, serious. you're thinking too much. <laughs> you know? True. I've always been a person to go to bed early. Like, I cannot stay up late, oh. 1, 12, 2. I mean, obviously, we have to be coming to work at that time. But even if I, before this, before morning shifts, I've always. I'm just the opposite. You're, you're a night owl? Oh, yeah. I was a night guy. I mean, party I'd, I'd John, roll were you in party? at 3 in the morning. Oh, yeah. But in <laughs> September of 1998, it all changed. It all stopped. For this job, the morning shift. Mm. Yeah, can't what? do it. What happened? Oh, to bed at 6 p.m. Ooh, that's real early time. I know. I know. Maybe, <laughs> maybe I do like a 7. People think, what's wrong with that? But yeah, brunch parties are, are big now. People brunch, going out to yep. brunch. You right. get all your mimosas, you party, dance, the music is going on. You can be back, back to bed by 6 o'clock, in the bed by 6. Give so. it a try, Calista. Do a brunch. Hey, I love brunch. It is tough. Sunday yeah. fun days, guys. It is tough to get earlier dinner reservations, too, because they are booked up. All right. We want to know about you guys. Are you still partying late at night, pulling all-nighters? Or do you get to bed earlier? When did you start doing that? Go to our Facebook page, Fox 2 Now. Chime in on the conversation. It is 627, 31 degrees. We'll be right back after this. <laughs> ¶¶